Because 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 is so damning to the pre-tribulation rapture, I mean, it just demolishes this idea that Jesus can come back at any moment. There have been a lot of attacks on this passage. First and foremost, all of the modern Bible versions have changed this passage. You have to have a King James Bible to get the real meaning because the new versions, instead of saying that the day of Christ is not at hand, which is what Paul is actually saying, they have it saying that the day of the Lord has already happened. So as if Paul is just warning them not to think that it already happened. Whereas the King James Bible is saying, don't let anybody tell you that it's about to happen. Those are two very, very different things. And it's funny because you'll even talk to people that are supposedly King James only, but then they'll come at you with, well, they thought that the day of the Lord had already come. Well, that shows you that they're either reading an NIV or they're listening to somebody who reads the NIV. Most of the changes in the modern Bible versions are strategic. They're not incidental, coincidental, or accidental. And so you have to ask yourself, why did the devil want to change this passage? Why did he want to change that text, even in the Greek, to get people to fall for this lie of the pre-tribulation rapture? Because if you're reading a Textus Receptus-based Bible, such as the King James Bible, it's easy to see that Christ's coming cannot happen at any moment. Another attack on this passage, besides the modern false Bible versions, is that some people will try to say that verse 3, when it says the falling away, is actually referring to the rapture. Now, this is so weird and silly. I mean, you can't even make this stuff up. I mean, how could somebody read the Bible and get rapture from falling? You know, when, you, when the rapture happens, we're going up, not down, right? If you're going down at the rapture, something's wrong. You know, you're going to the wrong place, right? That's where hell is. So the Bible doesn't call the rapture the falling away, but yet constantly I'm seeing pre-tribbers try to say that the falling away is the rapture. Now, our English word apostasy actually comes from the Greek word in this verse for falling away, apostasia. You know, that's where we get our word apostasy. This is talking about falling away from the faith, falling away from, uh, you know, doctrine and doctrinal correctness. And this term is used throughout the New Testament it's used throughout the Bible to always refer to leaving the right doctrine, leaving the truth. But they defy gravity and teach that the falling away is the rapture. But, you know, when you're pre-trib, you get desperate. So that's the kind of stuff you come up with.